it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is pay close attention at a site visit. So here's the situation. I was at a private home on this huge farm and doing a site visit for a ceremony and a reception for a bride and groom. And the father of the groom was showing me around the property and where they wanted to have the ceremony and the reception. They had a gorgeous backyard to die for and it had natural arches and ivy and beautiful flowers and I, I was just dreaming up things in my head and so excited and as we walked through this huge beautiful arch with all this ivy coming down, I thought to myself, this is a perfect, perfect place for the cake, the cake table for the bride and groom from photography and videography standpoint, it's perfect. And so we're walking through, we, we're walking through, we're walking through, and he's telling me all about the cows and the horses. And he did mention a bee farm, but I really didn't pay that close of attention. I was still stuck back on the floor plan and how I wanted to set things up and present it to the bride and groom. So the wedding day gets here and we put that cake and that awesome cake table right in front of that arch and the ivy. And it, it looked amazing. It looked beautiful. And the ceremony got started and it was in the front yard. The reception was in the backyard and I'm standing in the front yard getting the ceremony going and get, we get the bride down the aisle and the caterer, the banquet captain is motioning for me to come into the house, which is where they were prepping all of the food and getting ready for cocktail hour. And so he's like, we have a little bit of an issue, um, look. And so I looked in the back through the window and there were bees all over the wedding cake. Now, thank goodness it was a faux wedding cake, meaning it wasn't all real. We had pavés, but the guests didn't know that. And so the banquet captain of the catering company went out there and shooed off the bees. I, I wish I, I had a video of that. And I was just praying that no one got stung. I'm allergic to bees, and so I was not gonna be the one to go out there. Normally I would go out there and help him, but I just, I couldn't risk getting sick or fainting from a bee sting. And so they brought the cake inside after they got all the bees off. And during cocktail hour, no one noticed that there wasn't anything on that table anyway. We brought the cake out right before the cutting. And then when the bride was inside the house after the ceremony freshening up, she heard some of the catering staff talking about the cake and the bees all over it. And so I had to recover from that and tell her, oh, it's no big deal. Remember your cake is faux. It's just gonna be out there for photos. And then we have pavés that'll be cut in the back and passed to your guests. So everything's good to go. But in my mind, I was thinking, oh my gosh, Angela, you should have taken note that when the groom's father was taking you around on the site visit, talking about the farm and all the animals, that there was a bee farm. So I just happened to ask him at the end of the wedding, Where, where's that bee farm? And the parents didn't even know what was going on because they were sitting up front in the front of the house for the ceremony. And where the bees were located happened to be in a little area right behind that arch. So only if I had asked more questions and paid attention, that wouldn't have happened. Luckily, nothing really bad happened. We still had a cake for photos and we still had clean cake for the guests to eat at the end of the night. But be sure to play but be sure to pay close attention when you're doing a site visit, especially at a private home wedding. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on AP TV.